Have you been wondering how to get shaders like these on your Minecraft bedrock world? Well, luckily there is a way, and it works for all platforms of the game. To properly use this feature, you're going to need three things. The beta edition of Minecraft Bedrock, a PBR-enabled resource pack, and a world with the Render Dragon features for creators experiment enabled. To make things a bit easier to navigate, I've added timestamps to the video to help you find the steps you may need help with. It's also important to consider that your device must be powerful enough to enable this feature. If you've done every step correctly, and you still cannot enable the video toggle, this might be why. For Android devices specifically, Microsoft states, only GLS 3.1 devices running Android OS 9 and above will be able to run the pipeline. To get set up, first make sure you have the beta edition of Minecraft installed on your device. You must already have the full game purchased. On Windows 10, you can install Minecraft Preview for Windows from the Xbox app. On Xbox, you can just search the store for Minecraft Preview and install. For mobile devices, it can be a bit more complicated. On Android, you can enroll in the Minecraft Beta program from the Google Play Store, and this will replace your normal Minecraft app. iOS devices will have to register for the test flight program and also has limited spots available. You can find the test flight signup link in the description below. Next, you'll have to obtain and install a PBR-enabled resource pack. PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering, and these specific packs contain unique textures required for the preview features to work properly. If you don't have a PBR pack installed, the deferred rendering effects won't work. You can't find PBR-enabled packs in the Minecraft store yet. You'll have to find them online and then import them back into the beta edition. Depending on which platform you play on, importing a pack is either easy or frustratingly difficult to do, but is still possible on all platforms. To find a PBR pack, you can use websites like Planet Minecraft, CurseForge, or MCPDL. While searching around, my advice is to not download anything directly from these websites. Instead, if you find a specific pack on these websites you enjoy, try finding and joining the creator's Discord server for safer access to the download. My personal favorite PBR pack is Poggy's Luminous Dreams and can be downloaded from his Discord server. Once you've found your resource pack, you'll have to import it to the Minecraft application. Windows 10 users can simply click on their zip or Mac pack file after downloading, and it should directly import to the game. On iOS, simply download your pack and open it with the Minecraft app from the selection list. The process for Android devices is similar. You can download a pack and open the file using the Minecraft app. I have noticed that some devices won't display the option to open the file with Minecraft, and you may have to download a different file manager. For Xbox, the process is a little more complex. To prevent hacking or any other type of software manipulation, the Xbox has a protected file system, and as a result, it is very difficult to access, edit, or add any system files. On my Xbox, the easiest method I found involves using Realms. If you have an active Realm subscription or an available free trial, even better. To do this, you'll also need to join a world with a PBR pack attached. Either you host this yourself from another device, like your phone, or you can recruit a friend to do it for you. Once you've joined the world with the pack and choose to download it, it will be saved in your game's cache. You can go to your realm on the normal edition of Minecraft and you'll find the texture pack from the server you joined as an option within your list to apply a pack. You'll want to apply the pack and then download a copy of the world locally. Then you'll go to your beta edition of Minecraft, select Sync Old Worlds, and your world copy alongside the attached resource pack should be there. If you cannot access Minecraft Realms, or don't have another copy of Minecraft, you still have an option, but it's a little harder. You'll have to join the Xbox Insider program and do Smitty058's reinstall method. I personally never have gotten this one to work, so if you want to know more, there is a link to his channel and method in the description. At this point, you should have a world with a PBR resource pack running on a beta edition of Minecraft. The next step is to ensure that you've enabled the correct experimental toggle on your world. Just being on the beta edition is not enough. You'll also have to enable the Render Dragon Features for Creators experimental toggle. This will create a copy of your world. Make sure from now on, you use the world with experiments enabled. When you first load into the world, you'll notice that none of the textures have changed. You'll have to do one final step to make sure that the feature is enabled. 
in game, navigate to your video settings. You'll want to go to the toggle labeled graphics mode and you'll see a new item within the list labeled deferred technical preview. You can then adjust settings for the pack to optimize performance in game. If you are struggling to achieve good performance, there are a couple of reasons this could be happening. The first problem is that you may be using a machine not powerful enough to handle the feature. If you are playing on a mobile device, you may have issues reliably playing. You may also have your settings too high within the pack. Navigate back to your video settings and try reducing certain aspects of the pack. Point light and point light shadow quality can be disabled to add performance if necessary. Remember, this is a beta. Not everything is fully optimized. Mojang developers are tasked with making this a feature that as many platforms and devices as possible can enjoy, and they will have to make decisions regarding minimum requirements prior to release. I recommend using a console, modern mobile device, or laptop to run this feature. There is no set release date. Each update to the preview refines this feature further. If you are having any trouble, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm very interested in this, and I'm happy to help. If you found this helpful, leave a like. It helps promote my content in the YouTube algorithm.